We're out here at the big consignment auction, fall consignment auction. Mr. Jim Campbell puts on every year in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. They got everything from goat wagons to tractors, combine wheels and tires, gravity wagons, parts, steel grading, just about anything you will ever need. A lot of it's good stuff. Some of it you got to watch out for. You just never know what they're going to bring up here. Let's do a quick walkthrough. we got to get back to work, but let's do a quick walkthrough and just check out some of the stuff. Like this right here. This is a nice looking international harvester. Two row corn planter. It's got fertilized hoppers. Got the combination seed hopper there you can change the plates out in plant corn beans whatever you want to do it's got the rubber tire press wheels on the back looks to be all complete most likely in working shape it's like they drug it out of a barn looks like a 186 planter unit uh, mounted on the two row toolbar yep there it is right there 186 International Planner. Got a single row cultivator, a two bottom turning plow there, some old pull type disc. Let's keep going. High equipment. Nice little Ford 3000 gas burner. Big long tractor. Looks like a long. Could be a Ford, but I think that's a long. Decent looking grapple bucket there. Massey 271 XE. That's one of those tractors you really would like to stay away from, to be honest, because they're hard to get parts for. Still pretty good tractors, but as you can see right here, that XE, it's a made in Brazil, which is one of the better Masseys, but I'm just gonna say they're hard to get parts for, in my experience. Old Massey 65. Looks like to be a diesel, Perkins diesel. There's another international two row planter. Pull type. More three point equipment. There's a pretty good looking international harvester. Hay bind back there, hay conditioner. Right over here, got a little farm all cub tractor that's been sitting a while, the belly mower. Y'all don't know, that is a uh, Bush Hog brand belly mower. I can tell by the size and shape of that deck and the way that uh, mule drive set up mountain brackets made. Bush hog brand. Got a lot of trailers. Good looking trailers. Cattle stuff, feed bins, catch chutes. Gooseneck trailers. Second row here, there's a 135 Massey gas burner. It's got a four cylinder Continental. Some of them had a three cylinder Perkins gas. That's a four cylinder Continental gas. Three point equipment, there's a tiller disc. There's a Massey. That one just needs a good seat and some tires on it. It'll run, it's like it's been in a bad fire. Larris Ranger, six by six. 
a New Holland hay bind. Coon rake. Kubota M8950. A Massey 150 diesel. A little, I guess, Chinese uh, mini excavator. Little international square baler. Farmo fi Farmall 504 diesel. There's an international tractor with a Freeman loader. Not much to it there. Not much at all. That looks like a 424 somebody's modified the grill on. A lot of stuff for scrap iron here, but there's a lot of stuff here like that that's still usable or has good parts on it. So if you're needing something for something that you've got, there's an old uh, manure spreader. Looks maybe like a new idea, a coloring on it. Model 208, yep, new idea. Here's a nice uh, spring trip subsoiler cultivator, whatever you want to call it. Nice heavy duty one. Farm all A, hand lift. John Deere 1020 diesel, 2130. Now here's a good looking tractor. That's a Massey Ferguson 5611. Four wheel drive, cab, loader. Got a big log grapple on it. Some other attachments there. Looks like the owner's got it locked up. Got 2,600 hours on it. 2014 model. Nothing wrong with it. All consignment gonna sell tomorrow, Saturday. Nice uh, 10 foot box blade it looks like, or 12. Firewood, A couple of John Deere tractors, newer. A lot of pull type and three point discs, tiller. Cub Low Boy 154 with a five foot woods mower. Woods 59. These are good to part out right here, otherwise they're not worth a whole lot. You can't fix these up and make money on them. If they've got a three-point on the back, they're worth a lot more. Those engines go well, though, in the little Cub tractors. Speaking of, there's an older Cub tractor right there. Older round nose made from 47 to 60. Two, and that one has a short ear dash, so that's gonna be mid 49 and newer. I mean mid 48 and newer, excuse me. There's an old Ferguson. Ford 3930 diesel, a Kubota RTV 2017. One owner runs good. That's a diesel, six seater. Hydraulic dump, power steering. Here's an interesting little tractor. It's modeled after an Alice Chalmers G, but it's actually a copy made by Tough Built Tractors. It's got the wheel weights on the back there, and I think it's got a Kohler engine. Yes, sir. There it is. Modeled after an Alice Chalmers G. Looks like he's got uh, some equipment here. I don't know if that fits. It looks like it would. A little turning plow. No manure spreader turned into a pull type uh, wagon. Here's an old power unit made out of a Ford 8 in. Some other power units, welders, generators. Couple of John Deere's 
an old Russian Belarus over there. John Deere G and a John Deere B. Decent looking tractors there. A little farm all cub with a belly mower. That's gonna be a probably about a 65 to a 75 model. Hard to say without looking up the serial number. Not much to it there. An old Ford uh, industrial loader tractor. Here's a good little find, an old Super A with a draw bar, a middle buster, a one point turning plow, another one point turning plow, another one point turning plow, and then there's a two point hitch plow. Little Super A's got a full set of cultivators on it. Missing the feet, got the scratchers up front. Looks to me all original, never restored. Sure it runs good. It looks like they drove it in. Bunch of equipment, skid steer forks, tillers, discs. That's a good looking disc right over there. Old Alice Chalmers, it's like a bee. Here's something that's interesting, an old pull type road grader. Now that would look good out by the highway. Paint it up. Adams Leaning Wheel Grader Company, Minneapolis, or Indian, Indianapolis, Indiana. It's like it might have a bad wheel bearing there, unless it's turned. No, they've got it leaned over. So you could pitch your axle like you can like on the new ones. There's an old press. That's really neat. All kinds of old equipment here. All right, let's quickly make our way back over here. Look at some of these old oil cans, parts. There's an old screen right there for a mixer grinder for feed. Good looking screen. Some wheel weights for a farm all cub, Super A. Draw bars for farm all. I bet there's some cultivator feed around here somewhere. Some old hay wagons. New tractor parts, used tractor parts. wheel horse mower there's something for everybody up here at this sale thanks for watching y'all